Hello and welcome back to the Zodiac Challenge. We are on episode four of the Pisces generation, which is with Cora. Mina is the first one up this morning, taking a bath before school. Oh, and I'm just realizing <laughs> that our basketball hoop was struck by lightning last night. So let's replace that. I mean, I suppose on some level that makes sense because it's just like a metal rod out here in our yard. But we also have a collectible out here. Maybe I can get Maya up and collect collect that. Oh, she's feeling very flirty today. And um, we are missing her hair. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's edit her in cast and get that sorted out. You know, I actually had to fix several of my hairs and I guess the one she was using was one of them. So <laughs> let's find her hair again. I truly don't remember what hairstyle I had on her. I think it was this. I don't know. It's close enough. Okay, I think Cora should probably get up, get herself ready for the day. Why is Maya scared? Looming dread from fear of death. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's super depressing. My goal for this episode is to definitely get Cora in a relationship, potentially also get Mina in a relationship because Mina was really hitting it off with Casey. So that's kind of where my head is at for this episode. Oh my goodness, I know this song. I really like this song. I didn't know it was in The Sims. How funny. Both teenage girls are having some trouble with acne. I'm trying to help them with it, but I don't think it's getting any better. Okay, let's travel with both girls today. I wonder if Casey will be at school today. Hmm. I hope so. We'll definitely talk to him if he is. So I just realized what was happening with my hair. So I did have to repair some of my hairs. I'm sure some of you have seen if you use Alpha CC that with one of the patches earlier this summer, a bunch of the hair doesn't work or doesn't look right in game anymore. But when I repaired it, not all of the hair CC was brought back over into the folder that it needed to be in. So I just had to restart my game after moving all of that. So hopefully people's hair should be back. I noticed that when I got to the high school, some of the students didn't have their hair. We restarted. Hopefully that is resolved. Oh, there's Casey. See, Casey has lost his hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. It looks like he is also in the cheerleading squad with us, which is interesting. Let's pop it back into Cass and fix Casey's hair. Oh man, I feel like I'm going to run into a lot of Sims now that don't have their hair. Honestly, all I remember is that he had some blonde swoopy hair, so... <laughs> I'm not sure if that was it, but I think it's close enough. Okay, hopefully I have everyone sorted. I don't really know. I'm still just having Cora meet as many people as I possibly can because I'm really hoping that we find someone else that she's more attracted to. I mean, I'm totally fine with her finding Arjun extremely attractive, but for right now, everyone else she meets is just kind of like borderline attractive. Like she's not crazy about anyone else and I need her to date someone. <laughs> Like, what does she think about this kid, Leon? Very unattractive. Okay, what about these two over here? Oh, this man is just punching lockers. Cora is going through a phase. She will pick up an instrument any chance she gets, yell often, and turn all radios up to 11. Look at this man just kicking lockers. And Cora just got the single and loving it lifestyle. Oh, dang it. Well, that's not gonna work. I really want these two to date today. They have a little bit of love between them, which is good. Oh, but she has to go to class. Ugh, fine. I guess class is important. Right now they're in business class. Do you take business classes in high school? I feel like that's just a college thing, but that's what it says. Attend business class. Okay. Oh, Sade wants to go to prom with Cora as friends. Huh, interesting. She doesn't have Arjun to go with this time, so why not? They could have fun. Maybe I should give Sade a CC update since she and Cora are actually really good friends. Let's pop into Cass and see what Sade looks like. Maybe she needs a little bit of a makeover. Oh my gosh, Sade has an alien parent. This is Sage, who Maya knows from the bar. Is that their parent? No, that's just a household member. Interesting. Their mother is married to that alien. Okay, but he is not the father. You are not. 
Fascinating. Okay, so a little bit about Said. She wants to own her own business. She's a recycled disciple and she is good. Okay, let's kind of sort her out. I know this is a common problem, but literally no Sims have chins when they are townies. So I'm just gonna give her a bit more of a chin. I don't understand why they do that. Okay, I'm giving her this kind of vibe. I still wanna keep the short hair, but I softened her eyebrows a little bit and gave her some eyelashes and of course some skin details, which always drastically changes the Sims. Now in her winter outfit, she already has a nose ring and I really love that. So I'm thinking that I might go back and add a nose ring for a lot of her outfits. Okay, I've tried to give Sade kind of her own style. I think she's quite cool. Again though, the teens look so old in this game. Like she looks like a fully grown adult. And most kids in high school, even though they think that they're grown, they don't look grown. I thought with this pack, they were trying to make them look a bit younger, but I still think the Sims in my game look like adults. Like, I think this is my favorite outfit of Sade's. Honestly, this is her hot weather outfit. Poor Mina is literally about to pass out in three hours, so she's not gonna make it the full school day without passing out somewhere. <sighs> okay, it is lunchtime now. Ugh. This kid doesn't have hair either. I'm gonna have Mina, even though she's very uncomfortable, go talk to Casey and we'll just see how it goes. Oh gosh, he's tense. She's very uncomfortable. How is this gonna go? Okay, he did like that. Oh, she's so sleepy. Cora has acquired the violin skill. I'm trying to get her to flirt with him and she's just like not doing it. Oh no, and he just got totally gassed out by his locker. What in the world? Oh, this is what Cora's doing. She's just up here playing violin very badly. Oh, yikes. I'm gonna see if Casey will go to prom with Mina. She's still very uncomfortable though, poor girl. And Wyatt's just gonna be here to watch this all happen. Oh, he said yes. Oh, good. Okay, I can't handle any more of that bad violin playing. We're just gonna cancel that. It's time for class anyway. Oh, Mina's gonna pass out in an hour. She's probably just gonna stand up in class and pass out. Oh no. Oh, now they're in foreign language class. That's fun. I wonder what foreign languages The Sims has. Don't they all speak Simlish? Oh, and Mina does have cheerleading today. Oh no. <laughs> oh, yep. Mina is about to pass out in class. Oh no, five minutes left in class. And she just totally passed out. Well, school is done today. Both Cora and Mina impressed their teachers and learned a lot today. That's great. What is this lady doing? The principal is freaking out. What was that about? Oh my gosh. Okay, both girls are off to their after school activities, which leaves little Brooke and Maya here. <laughs> Brooke, let's do your homework. And as always, Maya, you are gonna help her. I'm also gonna sell this collectible that Maya found earlier this morning. Okay, Cora just got a pop-up, Principal Revenge. The principal does not like the new dance that got added to the show and demands the club not use it in the performance. The club is going to vandalize her house for revenge. Should Cora tell the principal or help the club by cutting down her prized orchids? Ooh, I don't know. I don't want to have her vandalize the principal's house, but I also don't want her to tell the principal either. Probably the right thing to do is tell the principal. The principal loves Cora for telling her and saving her prized orchids. The club is mad, but they understand. Just don't expect to be privy to any more secrets. Cora gains performance for her actions. Oh man. I know, see, I was worried that I was gonna make people not like her. Okay, homework is complete. Good job, little Brooke. There definitely needs to be some cleaning up happening around the house because that's kind of messy. Okay, Cora has been promoted to practical performer. That's fabulous. And Mina is back from cheerleading, but oh my gosh, she is so exhausted. So let's send her to bed early. And for Cora, I really want to see like out of all the people she knows, obviously she was super attracted to Arjun when they were younger. Leon, she finds very unattractive. What about Wyatt? basic looking. Okay. What about Camden? Attractive. Danny? Attractive. Is she attracted to girls? 
Oh, it just says, it doesn't say anything, so I guess not. Nicholas, attractive. Oh, I'm realizing he doesn't have hair either. I still really want them to be friends, but Antonio is a young adult, also doesn't have hair. Dang it, I've messed up a bunch of my sims. Marvin, attractive. Travon, attractive. Gosh, she literally finds like everyone attractive. This doesn't help me when I'm trying to find you a boyfriend. You know what? Let's just invite Nicholas over again. I feel no, like no. he's a great possibly first boyfriend it's someone that we know and i could see them just like just because their moms have been such good friends for forever that that's kind of the vibe okay here he is let's go back and give him hair i think this could be a good opportunity to change up his hair and i'm actually kind of digging this hair on him giving him black hair which i think would be natural on him since his dad had black hair and his mom had brown hair so i'm thinking that's what we're gonna do just changing up his style ever so slightly because i wasn't loving the white on white look that he had going on so hopefully the hair change won't affect how the girls perceive him. Okay, Brooke is asking Maya, I believe. I got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful. I said it was the Arcticorn, I guess is what that is. But he kept saying Suintor. I have no idea how to say this. <laughs> which one is it? Um, I think Maya would just agree with her. Okay, Cora still perceives him as attractive. So let's see. Let's ask him if he's single first of all. And look at little Brooke just doing sit-ups in her dress. Oh my goodness. Wait, Casey is calling Mina. <gasps> he wants to go on a date. Oh my gosh. Mina's exhausted, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I probably should be focusing on Cora, but Mina's love life is happening a lot easier than Cora's is. She's still very uncomfortable because she's so tired. Okay, so one of the things she wants to do is kiss her date. Oh, she's really hungry too. Oh man. She's just super uncomfortable on this date. <laughs> oh, I think he's really liking her. Did you see that little symbol that came up? Oh my goodness, look at them. I'm gonna have her reveal a crush. And she has a good reputation. I think he's like into it. Everything she keeps saying to him that's flirty, he's like totally fine with. So that's a really good, a really good thing, I think. Look at them getting all snuggly. Oh my gosh, look at them. There was like a little smooch there. Oh, and she's come over here to pass out. Yep, that's happening. I'm not getting the option to first kiss yet or to ask him to be her boyfriend, but once she wakes up, <laughs> we're gonna keep socializing with him and see how it goes. They're being very sweet with one another. Ina has a major crush on Casey. Oh, we know. We already know. I just keep flirting so that hopefully I get a prompt to like have first kiss or to ask him to be her boyfriend. Oh, first kiss, first kiss, here it is. Oh my gosh, is she too uncomfortable to do this? I don't know. <gasps> They're having their very first kiss. Oh my gosh, it happened. Attempt to seduce your date. Okay, that's way too fast. But I will ask to be boyfriend. They have a sentiment together too. Crush, they both have a crush on each other. Aww. This is the cutest thing ever. Okay, I think she needs to head home now. She's so tired, but look at how confident she is. New partner, new friend, first kiss, smooth talker. Oh my gosh, she like literally had the best time on that date. I'm so happy for her, but also like Cora's love life has been so much harder than this. It's kind of funny almost. Oh, and she's gonna pass out again before she can head home. Okay, well, we'll just wait here. All right, Mina, get home, please. But like, even though she's so tired, she has a grin on her face. She literally had the best time. I'm so happy for her. Okay, she absolutely needs to get to bed. And Cora reached cooking level five. I told you, she is such a good little chef. I'm guessing that Nicholas went home. Yeah, he's not here. I kind of feel bad, but like Brooke enjoys it, but she's always cleaning up around the house. Okay, it is like one in the morning. Brooke really needs to go to bed. I mean, they all do, but like, she's a little kid. They don't need to be keeping her up. If Maya decides to stay up, that's one thing. I am gonna have Maya chat with Cora about her fear of death. Cause I mean, it is her oldest daughter. I think they could kind of process together after losing Akira, so. Oh my gosh, give the woohoo talk. No freaking way, that's so funny. I wanna click on that. I wonder if it'll embarrass Cora. Oh my gosh, Maya looks so uncomfortable, dude. Oh, they're both embarrassed. 
That's so funny. Look, Maya's embarrassed now, as is Cora. Cora's like, I'm leaving. Brooke is going through a phase. She's feeling a bit clingy and is going to stay extra close to her favorite caregiver. Interesting. Well, that would be Maya, so gotta give Lady some attention. This poor little doggy acts like it never gets any love ever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send them all to bed. Except Cora needs some fun, so I'm gonna have her watch a movie before bed. She's decided to watch Roaring Vice, which I don't really know what that is. Is this like a old timey movie? Seems like it. I'm noticing too that Cora's mural is fading, so I'm gonna have her restore that. I wonder if she can restore that before she goes into school today. Oh yeah, that was easy, perfect. And she has some time before school, so I'm gonna have her come in here and try and finish this painting. I'm really anxious to see what this is gonna look like. Oh, and she wants to go play basketball. Oh, she's missing her hair for her exercise outfit. Oh no. Gonna have to fix that too. Oh man. I can't believe that so much of my hair got messed up in that. Just trying to fix the freaking hair. <laughs> okay, we're heading to school with both girls. So I think today is exam day. I'm a little nervous how both girls are gonna do, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, Cora is just really insecure about her acne. This is not good. I've been trying to help her with it but it hasn't really been working unfortunately now she's embarrassed from botched concealment oh gosh and mina's just in here in the principal's office like hanging out and studying cora's working on her lines for the school play she has to reach level three of acting in order to become a junior artiste I think that this might be her last day in school though. It is, because she's gonna age up on Sunday. So this is literally Cora's last day in high school. Gosh, Mina is so desperate for fun that she is just struggling a bit. Okay, Maya is off to work. I'm gonna have her work hard because we do need that promotion. I did get rid of Maya's fear of a dead-end job. I think that that is so bizarre that she keeps getting that even though she is almost to level 10 of her career. Having Googled it, apparently that fear of a dead end job for some people comes up every single time their sim goes to work. And that's just not gonna work for me if she is gonna get this final promotion. So I did cheat to remove that fear because I just can't have her getting that fear every single time she goes into work and that preventing me from finishing her generation. So I did cheat that away. I'm hoping that that means that she won't come home with that fear again. I guess we'll just kind of see how it plays out. But in order for her to get that final promotion, we're doing everything we can to make it happen. I think Cora is such a cutie and it makes me sad that she's embarrassed about the way she looks right now. Everyone gets acne and that does not determine whether or not you are attractive. Let me just say that. Mina has just decided that she is over school today and over these exams, so she has come out here to <laughs> practice some cheerleading and just relieve some of that pent up stress. Except now this is making her really sad. Why? <laughs> Maybe I haven't had her reading enough. She's just not a happy kid right now. Cora is getting a sentiment with one of the teachers. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me too. <laughs> That's weird. It's just a teacher. Okay, she has met her sister's boyfriend Casey now although she's embarrassed with how that encounter went don't know why oh girl you should be embarrassed about playing this in public though good grief musically insecure from badly played music yeah girl that was not the move during lunch to just pull out your guitar I mean I'll give it to her she has confidence there's something to be said for that right all right final exam of the day Oh, Mina just stood up and a pop-up came up for her. A difficult problem. The classic math question asks, what is the probability of landing on a specific number when rolling a dice? What is the percent chance of landing on the same number three times in a row? Five times. So she can rely on her logic skill or wing it. Let's rely on your logic skill, girl. Mina did not have nearly the grasp of the subject she thought she did and gave a pretty shaky answer. Oh no. Wait, girls, where are you going? You need to take your exam. We are in the middle of an exam. Oh gosh. Now Mina is super angry. She is just not having a good time lately. Okay, and just like that, school is over. That was Cora's last day in school. 
exam report. Exams are finally over. The day was grueling and the questions were fierce, but the day is finally done. Thanks to the quick work of the Scanotron MK7, all of the tests have been graded and the results are out. Here's how everyone did. Cora and Mina both aced their exams. Great job, girls. Promise coming up tomorrow. Brooke's grades are up. Good job, Brooke. And Mina's grades are up. That's fantastic. Though Mina is going through a phase. She's feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. And it's almost Cora's birthday. Okay, I just got like a million and one pop-ups. That was wild. Okay, they both definitely need to head home. These girls are a lot to handle. At least Brooke isn't home by herself now. At least Mina's home today. Please don't catch anything on fire. And Cora's getting another phone call about graduating early. I'm gonna say no thanks because she ages up in two days anyway. So I don't think she needs to do that. And Mina has finished some food food. That's great. She's in desperate need of some fun. So when she's done eating, definitely going to have her dance for a bit because our little dancer has not been dancing a whole lot as a teenager, to be honest. Oh, Lady's playing with a toy. I have not seen Lady play with that many toys. Look at her. That's really sweet. And Maya's home from work. Look, see, Maya is questioning her job again. I'm just so frustrated with that because she has a fear of a dead end job again. And I literally removed that. I'm removing that again because that's just so incredibly frustrating. Okay, Cora is home. And Brooke has decided she dislikes cottagecore music. That's fine, Brooke. I'm gonna see if Nicholas wants to hang out again. I know I'm pushing this pretty hard, but again, I need her to have a relationship with someone. So Akira is asking her to go to the Spice Festival. No, Akira has been gone a long time. We're not doing that. Okay, okay, he wants to go out and enjoy the day together. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Time to get to know this kid a bit better. Okay, there he is. Let's change our outfit to like a warm weather outfit. He is flirty right now. Can she flirt with him? He's feeling pretty flirty. Maybe he has a crush on us. Oh, okay, this sim is irresistible. Cora has a major crush on Nicholas. That happened pretty quick. Okay. Throughout the conversation, Cora got the impression that Nicholas finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. He was kissing her hand. Okay, this is going really, really well. She still wants to kiss someone. I haven't had her kiss anyone yet, and that has been there forever. Oh, she wanted to serenade him. Oh, he's really into it. This is really sweet. I mean, to just be hanging out as friends, this is like a pretty flirty hangout. Mm, they're gonna stargaze together. Look at them, what cuties. Oh my gosh, this is so wholesome. Look at them. Oh, I'm having to work a little bit harder to get them like fully interested in each other. I'm not sure how Nicholas feels about Cora, but I'm just having them do a lot of social interactions just to like see what happens. Okay, they're both fanning themselves, so that's a good thing. Oh, and Wyatt from school just came walking up to be like, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> and they're obviously having a moment. Like, Wyatt, you might want to go somewhere else. Is he mad? Maybe he liked Cora. Oh, man. This is so awkward. I'm still not getting, like, the asked to be boyfriend thing or the first kiss yet either. He likes wide hips. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so funny. When you ask about attractiveness preferences, they say sometimes the most specific things. Okay, Wyatt is just like stomping off now. He's really angry. Oh, I can do first kiss. I can do first kiss. Oh my gosh. They're having their first kiss. Two first kisses in this episode. Oh my goodness. Okay, asked to be boyfriend. Perfect. I did not think that there was gonna be two relationships started this episode, but it looks like it. Both girls got into relationships. Oh my goodness. They're so excited. Oh. Oh, he's thinking about an engagement ring. Okay, on that note, I think it might be time to say goodbye. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Sorry, Nicholas. <laughs> but okay, Cora and Nicholas, boyfriend and girlfriend, that's her first boyfriend. Now we know that this won't be forever boyfriend because she does have to have two failed relationships before she finds her person. So I'm not too worried about it. I think that she and Nicholas are super, super cute, but it seems like they don't have a ton in common. When she brought up painting to him in the last episode, he was not into it. So I'm not sure 
that he would be the most supportive of her painting career. But both teenage girls have relationships See? now. I am so sick of all these de-stressing deconcoctions that I'm literally just gonna sell their grill. I can't handle it, honestly. It's too much. Oh, and look at the difference. When Cora's around her crush, she gets insecure. Oh, she's not nearly as confident as Mina. But I was hopeful that both girls would end up in relationships after this episode, and they have. I find it interesting that Mina and Casey got together a lot easier than Cora and Nicholas did. I think that, that is probably a sign of things to come. But next episode, we're going to have prom for both of the girls again, and Cora will be aging up to a young adult. I literally cannot believe that. We're still working on Maya getting that final promotion, and then Cora will be moving out of the house when that happens and out on her own. So let me know in the comments below what you think of both of these relationships, and if you think Mina and Casey are a good fit, and who you think Cora should end up with long term. Is it going to be Arjun, or is it going to be someone else that we haven't met yet. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I can't wait to read what you guys have to say about this episode. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye!